Hey, brother! Ben, you know I love me some good Pixar Easter eggs. And while I was watching the Good Dinosaur trailer for like the hundredth time, I noticed something that may or may not be an Easter egg, but still sparked something inside me. This beautifully rendered small lizard skirting across a path. This tiny lizard in its half second of screen time reminded me of a Pixar film you have probably never heard of. You've probably never heard of it because it's the only Pixar film to ever be announced and then cancelled. Today, we find out what happened to that film. What happened to Newt? <laughs> Now, if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, or just a very detail-oriented Pixar viewer, you may recall me drawing attention to this small sticker on Andy's closet in Toy Story 3 that says, Newt Crossing. When you guys see that, do you read Xing or Crossing? I always read Xing. Now, some, me, would argue that this sticker is a clue to the identity of Andy's monster. Full video here. But the secondary meaning, actually, honestly, it's probably the primary meaning, was actually a nod to the then-in-production Pixar film, Newt. And just to reiterate what I said earlier, Newt is the only Pixar film that has ever been announced and then cancelled. So, what happened? I mean, when you Google it, you can see tons of concept art. And given the beauty of just that tiny piece of lizard we get to see in the good dinosaur trailer, I can't help but feel like we are missing out on a visual masterpiece here. I mean, seriously, how great would this shot look in a Pixar film? As you are no doubt aware, Pixar is famous for coming up with original content. While the rest of Hollywood is busy rebooting and making sequels and transitioning books into movies, Pixar is building brand new stories from the ground up. And that is a process that takes a long time. It takes a lot of reworking, rewriting, revision, re everything a thousand times, rinse and repeat until they get it just right and deliver us the final product we see. But that final product is often nothing like the original idea. And that's because the original idea is suck. They take a long time to get right, and that's why Pixar is so good. And by the way, it's not just me saying that. That's a quote from Ed Catmull, the president of Pixar. So with that in mind, what happened to Newt? There are several possible contributing factors to the cancellation of Newt. The first of which is multiple discovery, or an idea whose time has come. That's when an idea has so much potential energy that it just crosses over into the social consciousness and multiple people discover it at the same time. Kind of like Darwin and Wallace with Evolution, or Edison and Tesla with the light bulb. And while animated movies are not quite as scientific as that, this still happened in the industry around 2010, when three separate studios all kind of landed on the same idea all at once. Here's what the plot of Newt was going to be. Spoilers, but you know, not really. What happens when the last remaining male and female blue-footed Newts on the planet are forced together by science to save the species and they can't stand each other? That's the problem facing Newt and Brooke, heroes of Newt. The two embark on perilous and unpredictable adventure and discover that finding a mate never goes as planned. Even when you only have one choice, love, it turns out, is not a science. Sound familiar? Well, it should, because that is the exact plot of Blue Sky's Rio. Except with birds and one of them is afraid to fly. Now, I am not saying that Pixar heard of this film and backed down. God knows they can handle copycats. Finding Nemo versus Shark Tale, anyone? Ha! <laughs> yeah, good try, guys. But, like I said, Pixar takes its dear sweet times with these films, and for whatever reason, they just weren't happy with the direction Newt was going. And combine that with the fact that another studio is coming out with an animated movie that basically has the exact same plot, and the lead voice actor is Jesse Eisenberg, a guy who's coming off massive social network fame, and you're having to replace your lead director, Gary Rydstrom, with Pete Docter, the guy who came up with Up and Monsters, Inc., and his idea is to, well, you know what? We're gonna get to his idea. In any case, it's easy to see why you might decide it's not worth it, especially when that's not even the only case of multiple discovery happening. Anyone remember Rango? Yeah, so not only was Rio gonna come out with the exact same plot, but then another animation studio was coming out with a film that starred a small lizard as the lead character. Now, I'm not saying Pixar heard of this film and then backed down, God knows they can handle copycats. <laughs> Ants vs. Bugs Life, anyone? <laughs> yeah. Good try, guys. But when Johnny Depp is riding the coattails of Pirate Chocolate Factory Wonderland into the lead role of another movie about a tiny lizard, and you've got Pete Docter on your team, and he's saying we need to go in another direction, and that direction is not up, down, left, or right, but inside, wait for it, because you might see why it's easy to drop this idea when you hear the second half of this title out. Yeah, 
inside out. Basically, the reason we never got Newt is because it was struggling in development, and Pixar's answer was to bring in Pete Doctor to help fix the film, similar to how they brought in Brad Bird to work on Ratatouille. But Doctor said, meh, I've got a better idea. And then he pitched them inside out, and everyone looked at each other and said, wow, that is a better idea. So they closed the book on Newt, and five years and three movies later, we got the visual masterpiece that is Inside Out. I told you, these movies never look the same as they do in development. I mean, you start with a movie about two newts falling in love in the most unlikely of circumstances, and you end up with an 11 year old girl whose emotions have to sort out her traumatic move to San Francisco. I guess the moral of the story is always trust Pete Doctor. Always. But I guess the real question you might be wondering is will Newt ever see the light of day? Honestly, my guess is no. It's been five years since they scrapped it, and they just announced five new movies that they're working on. Plus, it's like Edna says. I never look back, darling. It distracts from the now. Then my question for you and everybody else is, are you happy that Newt got scrapped for Inside Out, or are you kind of curious about what would have happened? Let me know down in the towel section below, and I will see you in another life, brother. These socks are amazing! And by the way, Benjamin, despite your campaign in the last video, I still lead the Instagram war by a good thousand likes, so I encourage everyone to go help me extend my lead. Follow me on Instagram, at John Curlant, and I guess if you want to follow Ben, it's at SCBBen, but you know, whatever, whatever.